Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video, you should be able to determine the empirical formula of a compound from the formula of its molecule. You should then be able to determine the molecular formula of a compound from its empirical formula and its relative molecular mass. And this video is for Edexcel students. OK, I'm showing you here the compound ethane. And we can see that ethane contains two atoms of carbon and six atoms of hydrogen. Now, the molecular formula of a compound shows us the number of atoms of each element. So you can see that the molecular formula of ethane is C2H6. The empirical formula of a compound shows us the simplest whole number ratio of the atoms of each element in that compound. And we can calculate the empirical formula from the molecular formula. First, we find the smallest number in the molecular formula. In the case of ethane, the smallest number is 2 which is the number of carbon atoms. We now divide all the small numbers by the smallest number. 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 6 divided by 2 is 3. Now we don't write the number 1 in a formula, so the empirical formula of ethane is CH3. Here's the molecular formula of the compound ethene. I'd like you to determine the empirical formula of ethene. So pause the video and try this yourself. OK, first we identify the smallest number in the molecular formula. In this case, the smallest number is 2, which is the number of carbon atoms. We now divide all the small numbers by the smallest number. 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 4 divided by 2 is 2. So the empirical formula of ethene is CH2. OK, here's a final example for you to try. This compound is called dibromoethane. The molecular formula is C2H4Br2. I'd like you to determine the empirical formula, so pause the video and try this yourself. OK, first we identify the smallest number in the molecular formula. In this case, the smallest number is 2, which is the number of carbon atoms and also the number of bromine atoms. We now divide all the small numbers by the smallest number. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 2 divided by 2 is 1. So the empirical formula of dibromoethane is CH2Br. OK, now if we are given the empirical formula of a compound and the relative molecular mass, then we can determine the molecular formula of that compound. This sounds tricky, but it's fairly straightforward. Here's an example. A compound has the empirical formula CH2. The relative molecular mass of the compound is 84. Determine the molecular formula of the compound. OK, first we calculate the relative molecular mass of the empirical formula. The empirical formula is CH2. We have one carbon atom, and carbon has a relative atomic mass of 12. We have two hydrogen atoms, and hydrogen has a relative atomic mass of 1. This gives us a relative molecular mass of 14 for the empirical formula. Next, we divide the relative molecular mass of the compound by the relative molecular mass of the empirical formula. 84 divided by 14 gives us a value of 6. Finally, we multiply our empirical formula by this number. So CH2 multiplied by 6 gives us the molecular formula C6H12. Here's a question for you to try. A compound has the empirical formula CH2O. The relative molecular mass of the compound is 180. Determine the molecular formula of the compound. So pause the video and try this yourself. OK, first we calculate the relative molecular mass of the empirical formula. The empirical formula is CH2O. We have one carbon atom, and carbon has a relative atomic mass of 12. We have two hydrogen atoms, and hydrogen has a relative atomic mass of 1. And we have one oxygen atom, and oxygen has a relative atomic mass of 16. This gives us a relative molecular mass of 30 for the empirical formula. Next, we divide the relative molecular mass of the compound by the relative molecular mass of the empirical formula. 180 divided by 30 gives us a value of 6. Finally, we multiply our empirical formula by this number. So CH2O multiplied by 6 gives us the molecular formula C6H12O6. 
In the next video, we look at how to calculate the empirical formula from reacting masses.